Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So don't forget to like the video, share and subscribe to it. Now in this video, we are going to discuss about the traffic light controller programming using the walkway simulator. Firstly, let us know about the Arduino components and its main features. Arduino Uno is a microcontroller board based on the 18 Mega 328P. It has 14 digital input or output pins, 6 analog inputs and an 16 MHz ceramic resonator. Then a USB connection, power jack and an ICSP header and a reset button. It contains everything needed to support the microcontroller. Simply connect it to a computer with a USB cable or power it to AC to DC adapter or battery to get started. So thereby we use Arduino in various applications and many projects. As we all know that traffic light contains the three lights, red, green and yellow. Red lights on this tells driver to stop. Green light on this means the driver can start driving or keep driving. Yellow light on this tells driver to stop when it is safe to because the light is about to turn red. Now let us implement traffic light signal using the walkway simulator. Simply type it in Google, you will get a walkway simulator website and a page will open similar to this. As I have already created my account earlier, I will be showing my projects here. To create a new project, tap on the new project in the Arduino Uno and a simulating and a code screen appears where the Arduino Uno is present in the simulating screen. If you want to make any alterations, you can make it there. You can add the components by the plus mark present on the top of it. Also you can change the color of the LED. Here is a source code. First we are going to assign the pin numbers for each of the LED. That is red as 8, green to 12, yellow to 13. In white setup, keyword pin mode is used to assign the LEDs as the output and a serial begin with a delay of 9600 milliseconds. Next in the void loop, the keyword digital write is used to assign the red LED as high and to print the red is on. Similarly, when red is high, green and yellow should be low. Further, these steps should be followed for other two LEDs with the delay of 1000 milliseconds for each of them. Let me simulate it and show it to you how it works. Here we can clearly see that all the LED lights are switching on according to the delay seconds given to it. And hence, the output also printed below the simulation whenever the lights are on. By this, we can learn that program can be created by our own wish with the desired delay time based on the given program. Here shown are the different projects. You can do it using the workway simulator and can be done uh, the similar connections in the hardware too. I hope you all have enjoyed my video. For more videos, subscribe to my channel and share it maximum. Don't forget to like the video and press the bell icon. And meet you all in the next video. Bye bye.